<laughs> Hello, I think this is a good shot. The fog is either rolling in or rolling out. <laughs> We're not really sure. There was just me. Um, so here. And so I'm not sure how many feet we're up. I guess maybe a thousand feet or something. Okay, so uh, today's Saturday and we're leaving for um, Carmel, California. Well, actually Big Sur, California tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Our goal is to get on the road by 5 a.m. So that means we're doing a lot of the packing um, today. Okay, woke up at 3.30 this morning and um, the goal is to be on the road by 5 a.m. Got a little bit of packing to do, just had my coffee and um, Hopefully we'll, we'll be on the road by 5 a.m. Okay, bye. Okay, we're out on our trip. We're getting on the freeway. <coughs> Sun's just coming up right there. There's Daryl. Hello. There's the, the kids in doggy jail. <laughs> Daryl told me that the point of interest is the roller coaster at Crim um, on the way to California. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build time Hi kids, how are you guys doing? How's everybody doing? Everybody's doing good! Hi dad! <laughs> So we're on 101, we're about ready to turn on Highway 1. And um, this is our view in this little rest stop area, I guess. It's overlooking the ocean. I don't, we're probably about 10 miles away from the ocean, 15 miles away. I don't know, but it's just, it's just beautiful. Here we are. <laughs> Hello, I think this is a good shot. So this is us in the, in the background and the ocean's in the background. And I said the kids, um, yeah, Sandy, Sandy, Sandy over here. She I'm not really she, in the photo mood. No, she hasn't. Well, she's been standing all day in the car, so she's so tired. But anyway, we'll get some shots of the um, of the ocean. 
on Highway 1 when we get there. Okay. Turning on to Highway 1, prepare yourself for what many consider to be the most beautiful drive in America. Constructed between the 1920s and 30s, Highway 1 stretches for 656 miles along California's majestic coastline. The stretch of highway we'll be traveling today has epic rugged seaside cliffs, forest, and untouched beaches. All along Highway 1, there are scenic turnoffs where you can see various marine wildlife, including whales, dolphins, and sea lions, just to name a few. Cameras will never do this scenic drive justice, so do yourself a favor and make the trip to the California coast and enjoy the ride. Down at the beach, we got done setting up camp. It didn't take us too long, maybe a couple hours, maybe an hour and a half, I don't know. Um, but we're at the beach and check it out. Park and we're having some tasty drinks. We got a nice seat to With sit our at. kids. And actually going up, uphill was up much easier with the kids because I let them drag me up. And but this is the sunset, this is. So it's uh, Monday morning and we're taking a walk around the campgrounds. Um, this is the Plaskett Creek campground in Big Sur, Big California. Um, you can see the, the fog is either rolling in or rolling out. <laughs> we're not really sure. There wasn't fog there this morning. And now there is fog. We are getting a lot of sun, but now it looks like it's rolling, looks like it's rolling out. So it looks like it's coming from, from the ocean and then rolling out. So hopefully by this afternoon, we'll have some, some nice sun. Mm -hmm. One thing about this campground is it's so sloped. It's a great campground, um, but it's, um, it's relatively sloped. And so it's hard to kind of find a level site. Um, I guess that's okay, but in a tent, you can't really level a tent. So. 
you just try to find the best spot you, that you can. And um, yeah, but it's like just a big old park with huge trees and grass. We're gonna try to find the, um, I think the Pacific, Pacific Bluff Trail, I think is what it's called. It's not too far from here. It's about one and a half mile walk through the trails and flowers and um, the cliffs. And so it should be really beautiful. Okay, so we're on our way to the um, Pacific Valley Buff Bluff Trail. Um, supposedly this is a really beautiful trail. Um, it goes right along the ocean with some great scenery. And um, so we'll find out. Okay, we're finished with the um, with the Pacific Valley Bluff Trail. But anyway, what did you think of the, the trail? It was really Nicole? nice. It was really nice and flat and lots of scenic views of the ocean. Um, it was really pretty. Yeah, so we would definitely recommend this trail. It, I would imagine this is gonna be one of the better, better hikes that we've had. Um, just great views of the ocean, very flat. Um, beautiful, nice grassy areas just to walk, walk through. Um, the trail is relatively well defined and just just beautiful. So, yeah, definitely um, definitely make a make a point to visit this um, this trailhead. And especially probably in the spring when there's some wildflowers. Yeah, we saw one patch of flowers, but that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. This is so interesting. We um, we're much higher. We did a little climbing. And so now we're above the, I guess you could call it the fog or the marine layer. And so I'm not sure how many feet we're up. I guess maybe a thousand feet or something like that. Um, but down below us is the marine layer. Morning everybody. So uh, today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning. Oh, here's our kids. So one of the really nice benefits of the clam shelter that we really didn't think about when we got it is that it's a really nice dog shelter. So when we first get to camp, this is the first thing we set up is we set up the clam shelter and uh, we have carpet, the little carpet underneath it, um, which keeps it nice for the dogs. And so they really enjoy it. Um, so we set this up first and then we put them inside and then we can sit up, we can finish setting up the rest of the camp and it leaves it open so they can see us and so they don't get worried. And um, so it's really nice. So we're making breakfast right now. There's our breakfast that she's making for us. Or actually, she's making that for herself, and then I'll make my own breakfast. And we've had our coffee this morning and our tea, and um, so it's around, probably around 8 o'clock or so. And um, we'll finish up with this, and then we're going on a hike, on this uh, hike that we found. What was the name of the hike, Michael? Salmon Creek. Salmon Creek. Salmon Creek hike. So that should be a lot of fun. So we're out for a nice morning walk um, to the Sand Dollar Beach again, and um, Today we don't have much in the way of mist, so it should be a, a really nice walk. Say hi, Nicole. Hello. And we've got our kiddos with us. And it's just a beautiful morning, so hopefully we're gonna get some really nice, oh, no, really nice photos. In. Yeah, some mist is coming in though, so hopefully, hopefully it stays away. Okay, we'll see you at the ocean.
Okay, we're at the Salmon Creek Trailhead, and so I'm not sure how far we'll go, probably most, uh, two miles in and then two miles back for four miles. The kids are pretty excited. You can see the kids back there are, they're, they're definitely ready to go. So anyway, so we'll be taking some pictures of the hike and, and uh, we'll see you out there. The Salmon Creek Trailhead in the Los Padres National Forest is less than five miles north of Ragged Point on Highway 1. There's a pullout for parking on the east side of Highway 1 and another pullout on the west side a little further north. There are two hikes from this trailhead, a moderate to strenuous trail that will take you to the upper falls and some hiker camps where you can overnight. This trail also links up to some of the other trails in the National Forest System. To successfully navigate this hike, you'll probably want some sturdy hiking shoes and possibly some trekking poles. Also, there's poison oak growing, so you'll want to be aware of what to look for and wear clothing that covers your legs in case you accidentally touch it. Today, we opted only to go to the lower falls as we were wearing tennis shoes and Daryl had on shorts. We didn't want an encounter with poison oak on day three of our vacation. The lower waterfall is about 120 feet high it's a double waterfall, so it's really beautiful. There are some rock scrambling needed to get to the really great views. Definitely worth the 30 minute, fairly easy hike in. One word of caution though, don't swim in the creek. There was a caution sign that there was an algae bloom and our golden canine campers were not happy that we did not let them in the water. Okay, that was Salmon Creek Trail. We didn't go very far. Um, we just went to the waterfall. We just went to the waterfall. It had been two miles up and then two miles back to get to one of the landmarks, probably the, maybe the second waterfall. And there was so much poison oak and the path was really um, narrow. very narrow. So and rocky. Yeah, yeah, and Nicole almost fell. So <laughs> that was a kind of a hint for us to maybe not, not take the whole path. We just didn't have the right shoes and I, <laughs> I have sh I have shorts on with the poison oak. That probably wouldn't be a good combination, and I'm not sure about the dogs and poison oak either. So we need to research that a little bit more. Okay. So now we're going to go to the town and take a, a nice little walk around a nice, nice paved path. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So we're now in the town of Jagged Jagged Point. Ragged Point. Ragged Point. We're now in the we're now in the town of Ragged Point. They got a little restaurant here it's really nice and they've got this really nice um, um, walk walkway um, takes you around there's it's a walkway there's, all the way down to the beach you can kind of see it. I don't really see it but it's a, you can see how far it is down and it looks really 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 steep so that's something we're going to do we're not doing <laughs> we'd like to but we're not <laughs> So there's Daryl. Huh? Sandy. Sandy. Look him up. Look him up. Sandy. Sandy. Jake. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Good job, you guys. Good job. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh.
Our golden canine campers. Our golden canine campers. Yeah. Canine hikers right now. Those are pretty. Go high. Look at your arm. Can you get with the other arm? Yeah. Or come to this side of me. I'm not. Your arm will get me. 